Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with the latest content that we put out. Pretty much every single 48 hours, we are releasing some type of content to help you with your coaching business, right? So don't stay stuck and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you want to get in contact with me, you might have some business questions that you would like me to answer. Then the best way to do that is visit the Canly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call where we can jump on Zoom. I can answer any questions that you may have and show you some actionable steps to take this week to grow and scale your coaching business. Now, if you don't want to do that and you just want to send me a, a message, and you can do that as well. Send it to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. I make it a mission every single day to answer as many questions that I get and help as many coaches that I can, right? I'm here to help, so don't stay stuck with your coaching and training business. So today I want to talk about how to set up a free skills clinic for teams in your local area. Now, a common question I get from, from coaches is a lot of coaches reach out to me with questions such as, Leo, I'm trying to set up a skills clinic in my local area, but I'm not having any success at the moment. Or another question is, Leo, I'm trying to set up a, a free skills clinic for local teams in my area but I'm not having any success doing this. So what I want to do today, I want to share, share with you a couple of ways that you can go about doing this. These are things that I have done with my coaching business in the past. These are also things that I've helped coaches to do when they've joined our Sports Accelerator program or coaches that I'm currently working with at the moment. Okay, so it'll be a good idea to get a pen and paper so you can note down any anything that has essentially helped you in this video. Okay, so make notes that and so that you can take away and implement them into, into your business today. Right? So Essentially, what I, what I look at when you are a business owner, okay, you want to try and get in front of as many teams, coaches, parents, players as possible, because the more exposure you get of not just your training, but of your business, right, the more out of obscurity you are going to get, right? So obscurity is pretty much something that kills a lot of businesses. Because if no one knows you, no one's going to do business with you. And if no one does business with you, you're not going to create or generate any new revenue into your business, right? So parents have to know you. Kids have to talk about you. Coaches in your local area have to want to get in contact with you because they see you as a specialist, as an expert at what you do. Okay, so... For example, in our program, Make Money Coaching Sports, a lot of coaches in different sports contact us because they see us as the experts, right? The, you know, they see us as experts. They see us that we have a lot of experience working with trainers in, in all sports. We've got tons and tons of uh, results already with, with the clients that we've worked with. So people see us as the experts in the niche that we are. Now, what you need to do, you need to become that expert in the niche that you're in, right? So if you're in basketball, you need to become the expert in basketball training. If you're in soccer, you need to become the expert in soccer training. If you're in golf, lacrosse, you know, baseball, whichever sport you're in, you need to be seen as the expert and everyone wants to look for you for help. Okay, so when someone, when a coach has a problem, when a player has a problem, with a, when a parent has a, a problem, they want to come to you for your expertise, right? Now, by offering a free skills clinic, okay, essentially, the way I look at it, you can offer this as a free one-on-one -on -one training session, 
or you can offer it as a small group uh, skills clinic. Okay, so where you're working with players, but anywhere between four to six players at once. Okay, so when you look to sell this, you can sell it either as one-on-one -on -one skills training, all right, so a free one-on-one -on -one skills training clinic, or you can sell it as a small group uh, skills training clinic where you're working with anywhere between four, six, or up to 10 players within your clinic, right? So the first way is essentially getting in front of coaches. So offering value to coaches in your local area who have access to teams. So head coaches within your local area. So the first thing I would look for, I would first of all do my research. What are the teams in my area? Okay, so that's the first thing I would do. I would go into Google, have a look. What are my local clubs, right? So if you're in basketball, you know, you have a look at what's my local basketball teams. If you're in soccer, you look up which ones, what are my local soccer teams in my local area. Okay, and the second thing you want to do, right, you want to either go to their training sessions or you want to attend uh, games or tournaments. Now, there's a few things. If you're focusing on specific teams, then a great thing to do would be to attend training sessions, right? Now, the reason why you want to attend training sessions is because at those sessions, you can start to mentally take note of the type of players that coach is working with, right? Because if you want to add value to a head coach, who, and essentially work and offer your services to players that he works with, that head coach will only say yes to you if he feels that you're going to provide something and you're going to solve a problem that he has with his team. Okay? So, first thing I would do, go to your training, go to the training sessions of these teams, have a look at the type of players that that, that head coach is working with, what problems can you see in that team? Is it a technical problem? Is it a tactical problem? Right? Do, there, do certain players need help on a specific position? Okay? And once you've gathered that information, and not only have you seen them train, but you've also seen them maybe in a game situation, the second thing you want to do is you want to now get in contact with the head coach. Okay, so you want to get in contact with a head coach who's essentially a decision maker and you want to schedule a meeting where you can sit down with them and you can go through what your program is about and how your program will help to solve some of the problems that you are seeing with the players that they currently work with. Okay, now this is why I always say it over and over again okay you need to do your research before you go into these meetings with head coaches right head coaches are, are, are people with a lot of egos and also head coaches are people that are very uh, defensive okay so they don't like you talking about their players they don't like you approaching them with anything about their players, right? Head coaches are normally people who are very protective of the players that they work with. So you want to go into that meeting with an open hand, right? This is what I want to offer you in exchange, right? All I want to do is help and I want to get your team to the next level. If I can provide enough value to you, right? And you, you like and trust what I do, then hopefully in the future, we can work together. But for now, all I want to do is I want to offer your team a free skills uh, clinic where they can attend. We can work on a specific area of the game where I feel that your team is currently struggling with. And hopefully once we finish that clinic, then they can implement what they've learned into their game and then your team can either win or compete and succeed in their upcoming games or tournaments. Okay, so that's one way 
okay, of getting in front of head coaches, providing value and solving head coaches uh, problems that they're currently having with the players that they work with. Right, so that's head coaches. Now, the second way is you can approach parents. So when I started my business, one of the ways that I got clients was I attended local games in my in my local area. So first thing I did, I did a really big research on where teams in my local area played their matches. And what I did is I made it a, a commitment to go and watch those games every single Saturday and every single Sunday, right? And I did that consistently for close to three months. What I would do is I would go every Saturday and Sunday morning and I would just stand on the sideline and communicate and talk to parents, right? I would ask parents questions. Which one's your which one's your son? How's your team getting on? How's your child finding playing for this team? What are they currently struggling with? Where would you like them to play? Have you ever had private training before? Okay, when your son has has done private training, you know, did they enjoy it? Did they not enjoy it? Would that would this be something that you guys would be looking to do in the future? Right, I did that over and over again. And what started to happen is I started to get contact information from those parents. Okay, once I started to build a, a little bit of confidence and I started to, to get myself out there in front of parents and tell parents is essentially what I was doing and how I could help their child, parents liked and started to trust me that they gave me their contact information. So what I did is I started to build a database and what I would do is I would pick up the phone and I would call Mrs. 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 or Mr. Jones, right? And I would say to them, it was great speaking with you today. Um, I would like to invite your son for a free clinic that we are running next month or whenever it is. Okay, this clinic is absolutely free. They can come along. The only requirement is that you guys have to register online before you guys attend. Okay, so essentially when I gathered so much information and I had a, a, a really long database of the parents I was talking to, I was able to either email them, text them, get on the phone with them and offer them my services. So you can do that in whichever sport you're in, right? You can attend tournaments, you can attend games, whether you're in basketball, whether you, you know, whether you're in soccer, whether you're in, you're in lacrosse, Whatever sport you're in, you can go out, watch matches, interact with parents, try to build trust. And once you build that trust, once you build that confidence and you get parents in contact info, right, you can then follow up with them and send them, right, what you're doing. Okay, if it's a free skills clinic that you're offering. Okay, you can send them information, try to get them registered. If it's a free one-on-one -on -one session that you're looking to offer them, you can do that as well, follow up with them. Okay, so whatever it is, whatever free clinic, whatever free session you're offering, right, those are the two ways you can offer them and get in front of new parents, new coaches, so that you can essentially get new clients and grow your program. Okay, so if you need more help with this, right, feel free to get in contact with me. The two ways you can do that, visit the Calendly link in the description of this video. You can book a free 15 to 20 minute call there. Or if you don't want to do that, then send me an email to makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.